scriptures. Um, who can tell me what his favorite scripture is? I hear one person with it. John 3, which is what we read today. 3 John 3. Right? That John writing to Gaius says to Gaius, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper, according to the King James Version, and be in good health even as your soul prospers. But we need to get the context. Why would John write that to Gaius? He could have written it to anybody else he was writing to. He could have written it to Philemon, as he was saying to Philemon, I wanted to take back one Cephas, your um, slave who ran away and all of those things. But he chose to write it to Gaius because Gaius was somebody who ensured that the strangers who came into his midst, he helped them. He was somebody who would give to the work of the Lord. And that was well known that Gaius was somebody who always gave. So if you do not give, if you do not bless others, if you do not bless people who are in your midst, it makes no sense you claim this blessing for yourself. A lot of churches usually when they're asking people to give and people to, to make sure that they give a blessing, they said, remember God said in his word, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. But this was written particularly to Gaius. This is what the word of the Lord said. The pastor, the King James Version says, the elder, to my good friend Gaius, how truly I love you. We're the best of friends and I pray for good fortune in everything that you do and for your good health, that your everyday affairs prosper as well as your soul. I was most happy when some friends arrived and brought the news that you persist in following the way of truth. Nothing could make me happier than getting reports that my children continue diligently in the way of truth. Now what truth was Paul talking about? The truth was that Paul was trying to tell the brothers and sisters that they need to develop authentic relationships with each other. So as these people would come to Gaius, they would leave from where they were, going on their missionary journeys, Gaius would be the one who would help them. He would stop and he would give them the help that they needed. Gaius would provide food and he would provide lodging so that these people, as they go on their journey, they would not want anything. It is true for us today, brothers and sisters, that as we examine our overseer, he has that kind of heart. He would ensure that he tries all that he can to help people. I'm sorry he's not here this morning to hear it, but Alyssa is recording. So you play for him. He would try to help people. And I said to my wife and Sister Sherry when I was buying the gift, when I told him what kind of gift to get for him, get a book. Because these are things that he would not give away. Remember I said this morning that as he got the gift basket, the first thing he said he's going to do is give it to Sister Kenesha. And this is how he is. Every time he gets something, he would give it away. He reminds us of Gaius this morning that as people come into his presence, he would do whatever he can to bless them. Don't we see that he tries to get jobs for people? Don't we see that he tries to help people in their everyday life and in their everyday affairs? From time to time, people would leave prescriptions at the office to be filled. And sometimes they don't know the real cost. But these things add up, brothers and sisters. 
One prescription for one person costs over $5,000. One item, but he would do it. He reminds us of Gaius this morning that as people come into his presence, he would do whatever it takes to help them. And Paul says, dear friend, when you extend hospitality to Christian brothers and sisters, even when they are strangers, you make the faith visible. James, as he wrote to the church, he says, I want you to show me your faith. Not by the things that you say, I have faith in God, but by the deeds that you do. As James continues, he says, if somebody comes into your church and the person dressed like chicken foot without seasoning and look good, they dress and look like how I always look, the first thing you would do is to take that person and bring the person to the front and ensure that that person gets the best seat and the best of everything that your church has to offer. But if somebody comes to your church and the person looks tattered and disheveled, you would say to that individual, sit down there. 